What's going on guys and happy 2021. My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja and I cover things from the smartphone to the smart home. If you like that sort of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below right now. This video, we're taking a look at the Halo Touch Deadbolt from Quickset. This is a smart lock with a fingerprint reader. How well does it work? Well, let's find out. Before I begin this video, it is sponsored by Quickset. They sent one out for me to check out. All opinions are my own. They didn't provide any talking points, nor did they preview this video before uploading it. The Halo Touch comes in a few different configurations. You have Contemporary, which is kind of more squared off, and it comes in a matte black or a satin nickel. You have Traditional Style, which comes in satin nickel or Venetian bronze. For this review, I chose the Contemporary matte black. Whatever style you get, they retail for $249 and you can pick it up on Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's, or other hardware stores. Links are down below. Installation was pretty simple, just like any deadbolt. All in all, it took about 20 minutes. The unit is powered by four AA batteries and they're inserted into the top of the lock that's located on inside the door. Now what is nice about this lock compared to other you know, smart locks in the market is that this is made by a lock company, not a tech company. And with that being said, it has a set of standard keys just in case your battery dies or you wanna use your normal lock for whatever reason. Also it has a rekey set that is special to quick set so you can always rekey something if you need to. After you put everything together, the setup process is as simple as making an account and scanning a QR code, and then you type in your Wi-Fi information. Once you get into the application, the very first thing you see is the status of your lock. When it's red, it's locked. When it's green, it's unlocked. To change the status, you just go ahead and tap on the circle, and then from here, you will then see the app work. And once it's done locking or unlocking, you will then see the new status right here in the app. Obviously, when it turns red, it's locked, and when it turns green, it is unlocked. Adding a fingerprint into the system is the next step, and that's like adding a fingerprint to a phone. In the app, you press on the people button, and then you press on the plus button, and from there, you tap on the lock several times until the lock reads your fingerprint. Once that person is added, you now have the ability to name that person, and then you can set up schedules with different rules, like time and date, you can also set up additional fingerprints for that person. So you can do like a left hand, a right hand, or different fingers. So no matter how they access the door, they can get into it. Now what's nice about this is that you have a history that you can access on your phone. So you can say who went to your door, who did what, how was the door opened, and all those things. You can see it right from the app. Now I do think there's an opportunity for Quickset to give the option to get notifications when someone accesses the lock per name. So let's say you have a house cleaner and when they come into your house, I would love to see it notify you if they use the fingerprint to open the door. That is something that can obviously be done via software and this is my official request for Quickset to make that change. Beyond that, another nice feature is auto lock. So the door locks automatically once you unlock it but it doesn't have a door sensor, so it does auto lock even if the door is still open. Now those are two very minor things on an otherwise nearly perfect lock. Now beyond using it with the Quickset app, it does work with Google Home and the Amazon Assistant. You can simply tell it with your voice to unlock or lock the door. It will then ask for a pin number that you set up just to confirm it is you. So not anyone could just yell unlock the door and it unlocks. It does require that dual level authentication. Now using the fingerprint sensor is fantastic. It's a very quick way to unlock with just a simple press. I programmed my thumb, even though my thumb is you know bigger than the, than the touchpad, it still works just fine. But you can program any finger you want or all of your fingers just to make it more convenient. Also, I will mention if your finger is wet, it may prevent you from using the lock as the water will get in between your print and the lock. That's not unique to this lock as any fingerprint sensor has the same thing, just something I wanted to mention. Honestly, with the lock, there isn't much to discuss. Does it work or not is what you wanna know, and the answer is yes. It's a straightforward lock with enough smart features to justify the price. If you compare it to the competition, it's competitively priced, I do think it looks better than most as a lot of smart locks are very chunky and they scream smart lock. 
To me, this looks like a normal lock that you'll find on any single door, except it has the fingerprint sensor and it blends into the lock very nicely. As I mentioned before, this retails for $249 and you can pick it up from my links down below. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for you on today's episode. My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.